Um, thanks everybody for being here. I really appreciate the uh, turnout and I do appreciate the new format because two years ago there were eight candidates and the first the question was asked to the first person, they passed the microphone down, and um, by the time they got to the eighth person, it was like, I agree with those people. So anyway, um, I'm going to start my timer. Um, my name's Jeff Hindman. Um, I moved to Berthoud 21 years ago. Um, just a little history and background on me. I'm a Colorado native. I grew up in Lakewood. I went to school at CU, graduated with a business bachelor's degree in marketing. I'm a successful small business owner. Um, my company, Cottonwood Custom Builders, is one of the leading green builders in the Northern Front Range from Denver to Fort Collins. We do new and new construction and remodeling. I'm married to a, my wonderful wife, Lori, who's helped me quite a bit get ready for tonight. And we are the proud parents of two uh, wonderful sons, one who's about to graduate from CSU this spring, and then one who's a freshman at Northern Arizona. So I'm, I'm running for the town board because I know what's possible, um, I know how to get it done, and in the past I've gotten it done. So I have 16 years of service to the town, 10 years on the town board, two of those as mayor pro tem. I also have six years on the planning and zoning commission and two years on the parks and open space board. I also have a lot of experience with Larimer County advisory boards and other birthed community groups like Troop 6. Um, in the past, I brought a very balanced policy to growth, which has always been the toughest issue that Berthoud has faced, one of the toughest. So when Berthoud was booming in the late 90s, I helped found, found the Berthoud Land Conservation Fund to preserve agricultural land around the town and pass a right to farm ordinance. When Berthoud was struggling and languishing in the mid 2000s, um, I helped found the Berthoud Economic Advisory Committee along with a lot of people in this room, and we really jump-started the economic development efforts of Berthoud, which were pretty anemic before that. Um, so I only have four minutes. I can't talk too long here, but um, in my opinion, the last four years, the town board and the town administration has really um, tried to rush and force through uh, decisions that weren't supported by a majority of the town residents. And the Haworth annexation was an example of that, which was overturned by the voters. Closing the BMX track is another one that was widely supported, brought people to town, and the town closed it and did not replace it at Wagner Farm Park. Um, and we've lowered our development standards at a time when we finally have a lot of development. So, and you contrast that with the rec center, which um, for over 20 years, people in this town have widely supported a rec center. Um, the only question has been how to fund it. So in 1999, we researched how to, the building costs and the operations maintenance costs. We concluded it had to be funded by a rec district. It has to be, that has to be a vote uh, to fund it and to form the district. So <clears throat> instead of giving the voters a chance to do what I think they want to do, the town is moving ahead with plan B and um, moving ahead to build a community center instead. And I think that we need to give the voters a chance to fund the rec center that I think they want. And if, if it loses, then we can go to plan B. But right now, last week, at last week's town board meeting, at last week's town board meeting, um, the uh, town representative heading up this effort said the board, <clears throat> to the board, that rec center pools go unused and not worth the money. Another staff person said 30 million to build a rec center with a pool even though we might be able to partner with the school district. Neither of those statements is accurate, and yet we're going ahead with plan B without giving the voters so a chance. If I'm elected, I will vote to put a rec center district on the ballot in November, and I will work hard to pass it. I started my clock, I still have 20 seconds. Um, um, I will also include bringing back a state-of-the-art BMX track and a decent skate park. And if you don't believe we can get this done, ask me about how we passed the 1998 sales tax when people said it couldn't get done and it passed two to one. So I appreciate everyone being here. Thanks very much. And I appreciate your support and your vote. Thank you.